Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a rocket stove. Originally this rocket stove was supposed to be used to power a wood-fired pizza oven. Um, so this is kind of the build for it. So it's separate from the other video. Okay, so let's get to it. So what I have here is a 4 inch by 4 inch, 1 8 thick steel, I guess square tube pipe. I've already drawn a diagonal here. I'm going to cut it on the 45 so I get two pieces out of this two foot length and I'm going to flip one piece around and then make an L out of it and this is going to be the, the wood fired burner. Uh, it's going to be, it's actually a rocket stove uh, is what I'm going to make and this will power the wood fired oven. So let's cut this in half. So what I got here now is a piece of 1 8th of an inch steel plate, 3 and 3 quarters inch wide so it fits on the inside. It's just over maybe 16 inches long but I gotta cut it. And what it's going to do is I'm gonna put it inside and it'll fit to about here. And it'll be 1 inch up from the bottom. So it'll fit like this. And it won't go all the way past because I want so that the air can flow up through like that, like this and burn. So I'm going to weld it about one inch up, right like that. Okay, so I got the burner put together. I have the edges on the 45s cleaned up on both pieces. I got the plate welded in here for the fuel shelf. This is still a little long. What I might do, this might be a bit long, I might cut this back a little bit on an angle here and that way the fuel will sit in here. I haven't quite decided that yet. I'll see how it works first. I'll probably trim this back though. So I'm gonna butt these two together and dig them together. Only the ends of the wood burn and the air gets sucked in from the bottom here and then it creates the stack effect which then the ends of the wood burn and then as you can see there's like no real smoke here it just get really nice clean heat and it's pretty hot Ooh, yeah really hot so that's working really nice so this will make a great pizza oven stove hopefully. So far the testing seems to be going well. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to cut this back like I have it drawn out here just to make loading wood into it a little easier. Okay after testing this I'm not 100% happy with it. I'm going to modify it. I'm going to cut this back to about here. Keep this as the air intake and then I'm going to cut a chute here so I can feed wood in down this way because when you're when using this right now, when I put the wood in like that, the wood only comes back this far, air sucks up from the underneath, and it only burns about this much of each piece of wood. It's not enough. It doesn't get hot enough for probably what I'm going to be doing for a, a wood-fired oven. When I feed wood in this way, I'm still going to be drawing air in from the bottom, but I'll have like pieces of wood in there that could be like this long, all burning at once, and they'll be burning vertical. So I'll still get the stack effect, but uh, I'll have more fuel in there burning at once and this should work better. So I'm gonna start hacking away at this and modify it and see what I come up with.
All right, after making my modifications, this is working a hell of a lot better. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal up this entrance here, originally for feeding the fuel. So I'm gonna weld this back in place. This will be the intake. It'll create a nice draw for the intake. And as you can see, we got a great flame going up right here now. And then I feed the wood in through this opening that I cut out. It's working really well there. Refine it and that should do it. I think this will work really well for the stove. Getting really, really nice hot flame up here now. So I removed this plate that I will weld on, but you can see how well it's burning in there. It's burning beautifully. So that extra length really, really makes a huge difference. All right, after testing, I'm gonna shut this part off. I've added this door to add the fuel. And then I'm gonna weld this plate on to close this off. So the intake will be right here, this one section of the pipe. And then it'll intake into here, and then the fuel's in here, and this is the chimney. So I'm just gonna weld this on. And the last thing I did so that this burner is completely done is for the door here, it wasn't really staying closed, so I made a little latching system for it. I drilled a hole, put a bolt through it, welded it shut on the other side, or welded it in place, I should say. Put a washer on here, made this latch, which is a bar stock with uh, a hole drilled through it, so that'll fit on like that. And then it has this handle welded onto it there. And I got some nuts here that I'll use to hold this in place. So over here I have this latch welded in place and I have it kind of on a V on an angle down like that so the further down it goes the more it pushes the door in. So usage, all I do, close it, go down, nice and solid, works well. All right, so I put a coat of high heat paint on this just to keep the rust off. Okay, so here's testing it in the actual pizza oven. Overall, it worked pretty well in the pizza oven, but I decided to go with a propane burner instead because the rocket stove just took a little bit too long to heat up the oven. Overall, this rocket stove works pretty well. I think I need to make a few other additional modifications, maybe shorten the length of it a little bit. Um, I put, as you can see here, I welded on some pot rests so you could put a pot on top and use it just like a rocket stove, as it was intended to be. And I used it to boil some water. It works well. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. But I do think it does need a slight bit more refinement in the sense that I think the length of the tube could be adjusted a bit and the intake could be made just a little bit larger than what I have here. But those are just some minor adjustments that if you decide to make one at home, you could do a little testing and figure out what works for uh, the size of pipe that you might have. Okay, so thanks for watching and that was it for this video.